Hi, my beautiful viewers. This is Gina with Aries Goddess Tarot. And today, um, I'm starting a new series on how to interpret the different tarot cards. Um, if you're new to my channel, welcome, welcome. If you're one of my subscribers, thank you. I love you. Welcome back. Um... Whether you've watched my videos before or not, um, I do not use the traditional um, tarot cards in my readings. I have um, the mythical goddess tarot is what I use, and that is the book for it. Um, it's by Sage Holloway, author, Catherine Skaggs, artist, and they're very, very beautiful cards. Um... But what I want to do today is to, um, if you've never studied tarot and you want to, um, I, I just want to go over the different possible meanings for the different cards. Um, so I'm going to start at the beginning with the zero, which is the fool card uh, in the major arcanas. And I'm going to do the major arcanas and then one at a time the different suits. Um, so uh, let's get started. Um, the very first card in the tarot deck is the zero, which is the fool. Now, this is what it looks like in the deck that I use. Now, the traditional Fool card, I pulled up a picture of it online, looks like that. Okay? Um, that one, they're on the edge of a very rocky cliff, right? So, and, and this one, she's a dancing fool. Now, traditionally, um, it means change. Uh, be new beginnings, being carefree, um, it can mean, um, you know, you have something new coming into your life, and you just take the risk, it's worth it. Um, the reason that Izumi is on the zero card, the fool, is... Because she's a whirling Japanese goddess. And she was lured by the sun goddess, um, Amritisu, from her dark cave. And her dancing made the gods and goddesses laugh. Um, so, she's dancing. She's without regard to rules and restrictions and... Um, she's the element of air, so um, she has no agenda, no baggage. Um, she draws forth childlike innocence in everyone she meets and is the essence of spirit. Okay, she reminds you to be free in your expression and the way you view the world. Uh, I'm paraphrasing basically what's in the book here. I guess I should have said that to begin with. Um, but let go of your baggage and schemes to surrender your grip on the way you function and be free. Okay? Be your true self. Don't, don't restrict yourself. And that's... Um, the same message as the traditional card. Just don't worry about the constraints of your current life. Just go for it. Um, so it just means change coming in your life. And like if you've uh, um, asked a yes, no question maybe and you get this card, the answer is yes because you want to just Go whatever risk you're dis, you're thinking about taking is worth taking. All right, now I am actually going to do these videos one card at a time and make them short and sweet um, because that's how I've been look 
I started looking at um, tarot to begin with, and I feel like um, there's probably other people out there that want to know these one at a time. If you just got a tarot deck and you're drawing cards and you want to look up the meaning of a card, uh, if you would like a personal reading with me, uh, my website and my email are in the description box of this video and you can contact me. Um, I am also having a special right now. If you sign up for my monthly newsletter on my website, then uh, you'll get entered into a contest for a free reading from me. And if you enjoyed this video, please like, please subscribe. Um, it does help me keep my channel going. So thank you very much for watching. I love you. And remember, be like the fool and have fun.